everyone welcome back to my channel I'm here to do a quick review on Featress's Genova Girl I have this wig on in the color number 1B slash 30 TP 1B slash 30 um, the top is more black and as you go down you get streaks of 30 throughout and I really like the color, but I don't think it picks up that well on camera, but it is a beautiful, beautiful combination. Um, I really like how they put the streaks in this particular wig. Um, so this wig has a comb in the front, it has a comb in the back, um, but it doesn't have the adjustable straps in this one. Um, I do have the combs placed in, and if you watch my videos, you know I really don't like using the combs all the time. But with this one, even though it is fits kind of secure, you know, um, I wanted it to fit a little bit tighter so that I would know that the wig would not go anywhere. Um, and because it doesn't have the straps, I can't really tighten it, so I just put the combs in um, just to make sure that it's secure. And that's basically all you need. I, don't, I didn't need any Barbie pins or any extra anything. The wig is pretty secure and it's not going to go anywhere with the combs in. So, um, this wig doesn't have, it has a part in it, but it's not a skin part, so I'm going to kind of show you what the part looks like. So, the parting is like that. Um, I'm not 100% a fan of that, but it's okay. It's not too bad. Um, but because, like, the way it is and the way, I guess, the cap is kind of constructed, you cannot move like the hair around this part it's basically going to be like this this going this way and it's going this way and so I can't really manipulate the hairs in the front to bring more hair over to one side um, or to have all the hairs coming straight down um, in the front it, it kind of wants to split right here no matter what you do um, I don't know if over time I'll be able to manipulate it a little bit because I was thinking about um, cutting this wig just to have the straight bangs right across um, after getting this wig, you know, I realized that it's just ex just about exactly like San Francisco Girl by Free Tress. They're just about identical wigs. Um, the only difference is the texture. This wig texture is slightly more coarse. Um, I would say it's like a light yakky, whereas the Italian Girl, I, not Italian Girl, San Francisco Girl is a little bit more silky. So um, that's the major difference that I see. Um, so I probably will end up cutting the bang in the future just to have a slightly different style. Um, I do like the length of this wig. I think it's very believable. I usually like, um, wigs when their length is around 14 inches or so. Um, and it hits me about bra strap. So I'm going to show you how long it is in the back. So that's the length in the back, and this is basically how it comes when you bring all of it here to the front. Um, so if you like it, I picked it up for about $19.99 online. Um, you could definitely check out a lot of the wig sites. I used to give where I got it from, um, give where I got the wigs from, but you know I have not found a wig site that I'm 100% happy with. So I have not been really naming the names, so I just tell you guys to like check out the different sites and stuff. The one site that I really liked, the customer service, was Hair Stopping Shop, but I find that they don't have a wide selection of um, the different brand wigs. So that's basically the review. If you like the reviews and you want to hear more reviews from me, make sure that you subscribe to my channel, and I will talk to you all later. Bye-bye.